Yes. I can go. I mean, granted, I just recognized the Activision logo. Well, it's this next logo that's awesome to me. Yep. Yeah. I recognize this. Granted, I'm pretty sure if you've ever played a Tony Hawk, you've seen this these logos. I didn't know that's what Neversoft did. This I, was the first Neversoft game that I ever played. And so I was like watching that eyeball get skewered at six years old, and I'm like, what? So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same Spider-Man that I played on the demo for on PS1. Okay. We're gonna play the whole game and you're gonna you're gonna get to enjoy it. Hello everybody! Welcome to Couch Co-op. I'm joined here once again with Doc Gracie. I'm getting paid for this, aren't I? Absolutely. Getting paid in, in enjoyment and wonder and nostalgia. I was getting that before I came over. No, I'm just kidding. What's <laughs> up, buddy? <laughs> What's up, dude? So we're going to play, uh, this is what's known as Spider-Man 2000. Uh, it's called that because it was uh, originally released in 2000. It's um, clever naming. Right. Well, it's just called Spider-Man. But there's like four or five games called Spider-Man. This is the PC release of it, which came out in 2001. And this game was released on everything. This game was released on... Game Boy, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo 64, uh, Dreamcast, PC, like you name it. And we're playing it today. And one of the one of the main reasons that was like, yes, this is what we're playing. It was even released on Mac OS X. Yes, it was. Yeah, I never play. I don't know what the difference on it is on Mac OS X. I'm sure it's the same as the PC port. It's also released on Game Boy Color. I'm sure not this exact port. I'm pretty sure I said that, I just didn't say the color. I didn't hear you say, I don't, I don't pay attention to you. I've seen the Game Boy game, yeah, it is not this game, but it's like takes the same bosses and stuff like that. But we're playing this in 4K. Are we? Yes, uh, because it's a PC game, all you really gotta do is go into the config files and edit a Word document to make it thing. So you ready to get into this? I suppose, let's do this. All right. Um, kid mode, the only thing that kid mode does is makes swing easier, so you only need to hit the kid jump mode. button. And I, I like how it puts you on blast if you go up to kid it's mode. It's literally on blast, and but you can't you can't skip cutscenes in kid mode. So that's the only thing. That kind of Do sucks. not play it on hard, because Mysterio is basically impossible to beat on hard. Um, since I've never played this, we're going bitch mode. Yeah, it's fine. This um this game was my childhood. Is the light that will cut through the darkness when humanity conforms to a single truth, a truth based in technological progress on scientific method. We will be unstoppable. I, Dr. Otto Octavius, vow as a scientist and businessman that my duties to humankind will be fulfilled. Thank you. Boy, these graphics take me back. Yeah. Yeah. Nice words, uh, and this is one of the uh, better versions. This, I believe. Oh no, I'm absolutely not hating. I love these graphics. Oh no, I'm just saying that like this game has looked worse because the PlayStation version and of course the N64 version of this game look like absolute trash. They don't even have hands. This, I believe, is a port from the Dreamcast version. Where we get hands instead of just nubs. Take out this imposter. I can't get free of this crowd. I can't get a shot. Jameson would pay any price to get this kind of dirt on Spider-Man. That was Eddie Brock. Who the? He looked familiar. But... Yeah, whatever. Stay focused. Bro. He he's stealing Octavius's device. Oh no! He sees me. My camera. No! Couldn't you just like go get the film though? Uh, he didn't over. take the camera, it's he just broke over. it. I blew it again! Oh, I can hear Jameson's voice already. Brock, you loser! If I had given a real photographer that job, I would finally have the evidence to send Spider-Man away. No one accused Eddie Brock of being the smartest Brock. man in the world. No, that's fair. 
You won't be able to get a job taking wedding pictures in Siberia! Yeah, that is kind of sad. Venom is smarter than Eddie Brock is, I would say. Speaking of which... <laughs> I finally saw Venom Let There Be Carnage the other day. Oh, it's so good. It is. I also saw Ga Guardians of the Galaxy 3 the other night. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Eh? No, 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 no. it was fun. I mean, they were they were mainly all just phoning it in, but it was fun. Uh, it was something. I don't know about fun. Oh, are you referring to all the animal cruelty? I mean, no, that, I mean, that, of course, is what it is, of yeah. course. It just, no, just the movie in general, I was just kind of like, this is dumb. Well, I don't know if I, I don't know if I agree with that. Eh, I think I'm, uh, I, th I feel like I may be turning into Martin Scorsese. I'm kind of getting over superhero movies. Superhero movies? They're kind of getting a little dull at this point. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller, packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns. More super villains than you this can cut scene, though. At. And of course, Non-stop web slinging, wall crawling action. Yeah, this is the main reason I think, or one of the main reasons everybody made the huge push hey, to. Hey, uh, Black Cat, what's going on? Engine, in-engine cutscenes as opposed to pre-rendered cutscenes. And they've got hostages. Use your Spidey compass to get to the bank quickly. Thanks, Cat. He straight squatted down and looked at her boobs. I know, right? <laughs> He straight squatted down and looked at her boobs. All right, what this hey, is? Hey, Spider-Man, come over here. When a building is close enough, you can swing to it. You basically jump, and then you'll hit the web swing button. Gotta get to that bank. You want to jump forward into the abyss. Then. Well, which button was my? You made it. Oh, ninja chop you. you. Technology is the light that will... Really? Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. I think you gotta do it, man co -create. Yeah. Oh, now you wanna work. Well, it's not that button. No, not that one. Oh, there that button. Go. Yeah. There it is. Okay. See? I figured it out. Alright, what are we doing? Where are we going? Doc's playing on a uh, a controller and on the PC port of this game. So basically, everything's just labeled as button one, button two, and we have no idea what the number of the buttons are. I know what that ass whooping is, though. Right? I'm already at full health. Your ass down. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's he gonna come from? From above! It's death from above. Well, I'll tell you what. When you, uh. Get on. Hmm. Huh. Lead Cassidy. What what are they what are they saying? Is this like everybody knows that Cletus Cassidy is carnage? This whole thing was just a giant advertising for the comics because you can um oh shit nice what save. What sense did that make? Okay, my bad. All right. Because you can collect a lot of comics and stuff in the game. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. I mean, I, you know, and I get the whole you were talking earlier about the the in-engine cutscene things and all that. I get that, but there is something so charming about these old raggedy ass pre pre renders. I I want to bring back pre-rendered cutscenes because they can potentially look better in the game. 
than the game when you know when stuff first comes out it makes it basically impossible if you have games that have like costume changes and stuff in it I can't believe they shot down those but police choppers I wish they would yeah, bring it back just for my stuff. luck I'll probably get blamed for that too is that the bank ahead yes but be careful spider I saw the chopper dropping off armed robbers on top she just call him spider call him spidey the heads up cat like a normal person. I don't know if I'd call Black Cat a normal person. Well, no shit. She just called him Spider. Yeah. This is also a, um... Black Cat's kind of weird in this game, because she's less... psychotic thief in this game for some reason. Hmm. That must have hurt. Worst security detail ever. Alright. There's one more guy. Where he is? He hiding. Hey! hey! Compliments of your friendly neighbor. That's the last one. Hope these hostages are still all right. I love how everybody in this game is designed pretty much because I don't maybe it's just because of when I played the game or something, but like I remember all of these designs and they stick out so specifically. I gotta input a name. Oh, uh, I guess this is yeah, just said just thank you for that. <laughs> Some friend you are. <laughs> I don't think he works here. Oh, about looks like I've got company. You know the sad thing is, hmm. they've had like a dozen chances to murder me, cause like they see me well before I get to. Them. I know that that um, you gotta open that door on the other side for her. They oh, also have here. like a dozen chances to take out the hostages, and they never do. do have hostages. They have to make sure they don't get hurt. Maybe that's on a higher difficulty. Hello, I won't forget this. Thank you. So this is the first 3D Spider-Man game. The door is locked. Say what? This is the first 3D Spider-Man game. One thing about these old games, like it keeps throwing me out, the camera situation keeps throwing me off. Because I'm used to now, like, hitting the, you know, hitting yeah. the deal. You know, I, I hit the gimmick to, uh... What am I doing here? Oh, you're going to want to go in that vent. What vent? Well... The, see how on on the ground it's showing you that there's a vent cover laying there? Yes. Yeah. You want? Oh, go? this vent. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the other vent. Die, motherfucker! All right. What up? Wasn't there a hostage in here? No, no, no. You gotta open the door to let the hostage out. Ah, I knew that. If you hit the, um, if you hit a direction and your web button, it will do different web attack things. Yeah, we got guns, but let's run up to him before shooting. They're not very good with the guns even then. Like, if they do shoot you, it's going to take, like, a lot of shots to kill Spidey. And, I mean, I've never known Spider-Man to be bulletproof exactly. I think he got shot a couple of times and it kind of messed him up in the comics. Righty. Oh, 
Oh, did uh, did you see that they're uh, supposedly talking about doing Spider-Man Four with Tobey Maguire? Yeah, they've been talking about that for a while. Um, but uh, Toby and what's his name are finally getting serious about it. Um, Sam Raimi. Yeah, Sam Raimi. I want to know if they're gonna. Oh, thank you, Spider. -Man. I want to know if they're gonna make the Spider-Man Four that they were gonna make before it got canned. Because there's not really a point in making it now, because that was gonna be about Mysterio and Electro. But we already got that story. So are they going to do that again? or I don't know. Here's my thing. Like, don't get me wrong. I, like, I love the idea of them going back and doing that. Uh, as hyped as everyone was to see Toby again in, uh, in No Way Home, I think kind of more people were more excited about seeing Andrew, Andrew Garfield back. That person. Mind if I drop in? What the f did you just say? Oh, I'm sorry. Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Why? I hated Andrew Garfield yeah. as Spider-Man. Uh, crowd following. My oh, does does other people not like? I thought everybody What's loved him as Spider-Man. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know that nobody really liked those movies back then. They didn't. I sure didn't. They didn't appreciate them at, a t at the time. I did. I Maybe thought they were great. Um, I, I wonder if I'm soured on it because of who I who I saw them with. But uh, more well, like an ex or something. Yeah, I watched both of them really in theaters careful. with an ex, but I still didn't particularly. Uh, the movies were fine right because now. I was glad that we got. Um, I was glad we got Croc, but um, open the safe too. Messing with us. Start the timer on the bomb and take out all the hostages. The hell? Oh, I didn't realize that started the thing. Go ahead and open the safe because when you drop the bomb, it speeds up the timer. Thanks, Spider Man. Well, let me get rid of the guys that are trying to murder me right now. That's fair. The robbers have been taken care of, but what can I do about the bomb? Think, Spidey, think. So talking about right here? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and open that up, because when you throw it in there, it's going to oh, speed up the big timer. Safe. This... Is this the thing you were talking yes. about? So, when I played this, I played this on an old... The uh, hit... The uh, punch button. I played I this on an old Windows 98 place. computer. And for some reason, that timer... And I still have that computer. If I can ever figure out how to record on it... I will record this event happening because you fucked around just a little bit and look at how much time you're going to have left over. Yeah. For some reason, that timer and the frame rate of the game are are out of sync because I would play this game at like, just release it now. You're in. It'll throw it yeah. in there. I would play this game and I would run at like five frames a second and my walking would be like... Should I close the door? Oh yeah, for sure. There we go. But it took me it took Not me a year time, guys. to get past this point and I didn't get past it until I got a new computer. And I just thought I was bad at the game. I didn't understand frame rate or bad computers or or anything like that. Cool. So wait, so so that was that early in the game. Like you spent a year only getting that far into the game. Puts it into perspective, huh? How is it even remotely a game that you enjoyed then? I don't know. I've explored every inch of those opening stage uh, uh, segments. I've been to every building. I've gotten like all of the hidden stuff from it. Because I, I was, I, I was a determined. Show. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've ever like seen like how patient I can be with stuff. Like I'll just sit there and like wait for stuff to happen. It's because of this game. Pretty far away. If I jump forward and then swing, I bet I can reach it. Wait, how is that any different than what you've been doing? I don't know. Hey! 
Now this is one of the few timed segments because Scorpion will get closer to Jonah. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Okay, well we gotta retry that. That's fine. Uh oh. There we go. I don't know what that is, by the way. That falls off of the uh What in the hell? Out of the window there. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I doubt that really hurt me more than it hurt you. <laughs> that joke was lame, but okay. <laughs> There's a lot of lame jokes in here. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm curious to get your opinion on the game when it's over as well, because I think this game is fabulous, but I wonder if it's just because I've slaved over it for so long. No, it's really good. I'm I'm enjoying it, and it's bringing me, you know, again, as we discussed off-air. I You'll see once we get, um, once we get into it, there's a lot of different... Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. There's a lot of different segments to the game, you know? Like, it's got, um... It's got like, you know, this segment and the boss battles and then it's got the time stuff. So it's like, it's, away, you're not playing the same game the whole time it feels like, to me anyway. What no! Just, what just happened? Oh, it crashed. Oh, wow. So here's what really happened, folks. Peasant was just so mad that I got past uh, the part that had him stuck for a year on my first try. So he crashed the game. That was... 100% me. Wait, did that load it? I'm so confused. How about I just... Well, it continue wasn't an option until I did that or whatever. Sure it wasn't. Okay, enough of this. We've seen this. Uh-oh, Spidey. Scorpions headed out for old J. Jonah Jameson from day one, blaming Jameson for being stuck in his scorpion. Uh, suit. this game was my introduction to, to quickly, Scorpion. Or JJJ may end up in the obituaries of his own paper. Yeah, you know, I was listening to, uh, I'm not gonna name off the person the other day, but, uh. Sorry about that. I was listening to a clip from a podcast the other day, and for some reason, they brought up Stan Lee. And uh, it, it wasn't even a comic book podcast. It was a pro wrestling podcast. Yeah. But they brought up Stan Lee. And... That was a good jump. Without specifically naming off this other person, too, they basically tried to insinuate that Stan Lee, in reality, was kind of on some Bob Kane shit. That's right. I don't know if there's any truth to do that. You not, do you not know about all that? No, I don't. There is a huge feud between Stan Lee and his artist for several characters specifically in the Spider-Man Well, not to be world. disrespectful, but I'm sure Stan Lee's not feuding with him now. Oh, no, 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 no. But it's like, that was like a big thing, because like... Get away, Gargan! Your time is I don't think out. it's the same, or it may be the same thing as Bob Kane, because I'm not as versed in the whole Bob Kane situation, but basically, S Stan wrote the character, but the other guy drew the character, right? Hey, so it was a big, who owns what for the character, the right? And I don't, the other thing that I know is like, I think it was a big deal for, for Mary Jane too. <gasps> Because when Mary Jane was introduced to the comics, I know Stan really liked that, like, okay, I wrote this character, but it really wasn't until she was drawn and how beautiful she was and everything that it really came to life. That was a comment made by Stan Lee. And I don't know if that sparked a whole bunch of stuff, but... Oh, yeah! Well, do you, so you don't know much about the Bob Kane thing? You're the one that talks to me about the Bob Kane situation a lot. It's not something that I've delved into. But so, I know enough about it to know when you say Bob Kane situation and refer to, to Stan Lee, I can comment on it. Well, you know, essentially, <laughs> you know, for, you know, for years. Okay, I was about to say, did it crash again, or did we just? All right, cutscene. Yeah. You know, for years. Bob Kane was the primary guy credited for the creation of Batman. Right. Um, when in reality, 
probably a lot more of that credit should have gone to Bill Finger. Right. Um, like, even Batman's design wasn't even Bob Kane's creation. Right. Yeah, have you ever seen, uh, I guess, what was the early rough idea of the look of Batman as far as Bob Kane's design? No, I don't think I have. It was almost kind of like, not exactly the same as this, but it was almost kind of like Superman with a mask. Right. Um... He is not a hard boss to beat. You can either throw stuff at him or beat him up. How do you, how do you knock me down? There's like a weird animation that if you're close enough to him, he'll just override you. Oh, but I like that. Yeah. But, um... I'm out of here. Get gone in. I don't know. I'd have to look into the details to see because it could be a, a Bob Kane situation if it's very like producer versus artist versus writer kind of thing but from what I understand is like the controversy with Bob Bob Kane is there other people did way more creative contribution to Batman than Bob Kane did whereas I think the um, I think the Stan Lee controversy is it was literally just writer versus artist Stan Lee came up with the character in general like he's a guy with the powers of a spider and all this stuff but then the other guy drew him up and gave him the daredevil I, got time to I don't. I remember so hearing Stan Lee oh, talk about color and stuff in comics a lot. What? And no, this was for the Hulk. I think one of the coolest things was um, the Hulk started out gray or something because of a printing issue or something like that. And they finalized the final color on, of the Hulk because it was the cheapest to print because he was all green or whatever, or he was all gray. Mm -hmm. So I think I remember Stan Lee making a lot of decisions on, and his artists making a lot of decisions on cost to print and stuff like that. Hmm. But no, yeah, uh, like I said, essentially Bob Kane, he took a he took credit for a lot of work that was not his, not just like the you know the artist to writer type thing. Yeah. Like. Oh wait 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 wait. Can I back up? Yeah, yeah, hang on. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Um, this is a chase scene. It, it feels like it's timed, but it's not timed, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, so... Tell me more about this guy treating Stanley like a Bob Kane situation, though. What was his point? Um. So basically, he was a. Uh, I can't remember the exact context, but they were talking about. So there's a show that's uh, been airing on that airs on Vice that is currently in another season called Dark Side of the Ring, where essentially they tell a lot of dark stories about, you know, incidences that have happened in pro wrestling. Yeah. And... I would just like everyone to know that Doc, Doc did air quotes when he said dark. I feel like that's lost in the, in the medium. Well, the, the, the main thing is the episode of it that they were talking about, I really don't feel like it needed a Dark Side of the Ring episode. Oh, okay. Um, I, and I'd have to go back and listen to it, but... It was like they were doing some kind of comparison to a guy taking credit for things he had no business taking credit for. And he just made the comment, it's like, oh, so you're saying this is kind of like a Stan Lee situation. So, yeah, I mean, and that was pretty much the gist of it. That's weird. I can't, like I said, I can't remember the context because it was, I mean, dude, it was literally, it was a clip I was listening to while I was uh, working out. Gotcha. And so I was only kind of half... Because, you know, I'm like, I'll pretty much have headphones in while I'm working out just to, like, just for the noise. Yeah. You know, aspect. And I'm not really, like, I'm focused on what I'm doing at the gym. I'm not really paying too much attention to what I'm listening to. It's background noise. Sure, yeah. But that just, that caught my ear. And, uh, yeah, he just brought that up with Stan Lee, and I was kind of like, oh, okay. So Stan Lee's got his own little Bob Kane controversy. And I would, 
Because yeah, yeah, we've discussed this. I'm I'm a DC guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I really wasn't up on that. Well, I every time I hear interviews with Stanley talking about that situation, I I felt like he always felt um, what's the right way to put it? He regretted that his artists felt that way about their designs for the characters. He hated that there was a controversy for it, but... I'm gonna need some help move it, soon. Move it, move it. It's somewhere. Desperately gonna need... This might be my first death. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's my first death. I'm sorry, you hit a checkpoint. Um... I'm innocent! I'm fully on the side of... You know, well, it's hard to say depending on the medium, but Stan Lee was like producer, writer, and all, right? So I think those characters are Stan Lee's characters, you know? Yeah, um, I mean, the best I could tell, Stan Lee is still by far way more beloved than. Cause like, I mean, like at this point, Bob Kane's legacy is almost kind of like harmed by the Batman situation. Right. Cause, it, cause the big difference is like, I don't think Stan Lee ever went out of his way to try to make sure, like, you know, like Bob Kane almost went out of his way to make sure Bill Finger didn't get credited. Right. And I don't feel like Stan Lee ever did that. I should have stayed home today. So yeah, different you know, different different situation in that regard. And you know, I just said I, I just kind of brought up something that I knew, and that may not even be what that guy's talking about. So now I'm curious to see if there's some other I'll have to situation like, I don't know about. I'll have to go back and find the the thing is it's about an hour long clip. Right. So I don't know I don't even know where in the clip he even said it at. What do you think uh this is going back to the know, game here? What do you think? I thought this was so cool as a kid um, that they're like, oh, we just, you know, we'll, he can't touch the ground because they've released a, a fog, a gaseous fog all on the ground. You got to go up. I'm going to go up here. Yeah, you could do that. That seems pretty safe, actually. Yeah, they stopped shooting at me, so I would say, I would say so. But I guess I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta yeah, go back gotta, to this thing. Yeah. You sh could just climb all the way up on the side. How tall yeah. is this thing? Pretty tall, Spidey. <laughs> I don't know, Spidey. You have the ability to look up. I don't. Remind me how they handled it in Mario 64. It, the camera mainly stayed behind you, right? But you had the option to move the camera, right? Um, yeah, the camera mainly stayed behind you. Of course, the uh, the four C buttons. Um, way out. Oh, here we go. The four C buttons were kind of your, you know, your camera control. Yeah. Oh. No, you don't have to worry. It was a cutscene. Okay. Um. But it's like it, with the, the concept in Mario 64 was basically a uh, uh, lack of two was behind you holding a camera like almost like they're treat like they're treating Mario 64 almost kind of like a news camera is following you around while you're going on this adventure. Nice save. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, like the lack of two is behind you with a camera. But it's like if you go to move the camera, it wasn't like a smooth camera movement like you see in today's games when you can move a camera. It was like a jump cut almost. Right. And it was really kind of freaking crummy because they would like account for like if you were next to a wall. Um. I'm gonna say, are you gonna go? Keep moving, Spidey. But uh, if you were like next to a wall, you there were certain directions you couldn't move the camera because. <laughs> The Lakitu would be stuck with, you know, couldn't get by, get around the wall. Yeah. So it would limit your camera movement at times, which would limit your your ability to see what you were doing, where you needed to go. Um, I still maintain that for me now, in hindsight, with Mario 64, and I absolutely 100% get why it's iconic. And it was a huge deal for me playing it for the first time as a kid. Who 
Ooh. Nice save again. Um, but the camera in, in going back and trying to replay it, the camera kind of kills it for me. Well, it was the first game to ever do that. So, yeah. I mean, like I don't give it hate because again, I'm very much a time I'm very much the kind of person that will give games a pass for being up their time. Right. You know. No hate for it's like, yeah, if you turn around and did that now, it's kinda like, why the hell? Right. It's not like hey, not like Ocarina time. of Time where it's like you knew better, you didn't have to One add like all of this extra stuff. That wall. Well, it's not the most romantic proposition I've ever had. But <sighs> But like I said, it does make, because, you know, I've got Mario 64 now. Um, of course, it's on the, uh, you know, it's on the Nintendo Switch Online expansion in the uh, N64 pack. Right. But I also have uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So I've got Mario 64 on that. And it's one that I actually now have a hard time going back to because of the camera. What, um, did they ever put the DS version on any, on any of the consoles? Not that I'm aware. That was my favorite version of that game, was the DS version. I wish that they would, like, take that, put it on a con, you know, put it on the Switch. Right. Um, I also wish, because you, you brought up Ocarina of Time. You know they did the 3D remake of Ocarina of Time. Nope, didn't know that. What? They they on the 3DS they did. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. they did. They did a 3DS remake of both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and it's actually a from the ground up. I mean, it's a one for one, but it's a from the ground up remake. And once again, I gotta it, see that. Okay. It's slightly. It's sl not to the same degree that I feel about Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Yeah. But it slightly suffers from the same thing in that some of the the remakes to things kind of like kill the atmosphere for me. But it's still an excellent, excellent, and there's major quality of life improvements. So. So you, you're aware of like, for instance, the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time, mm. the the infamous infamousness of it, right? Yes. Okay. You know one of the things that makes I know we're talking over a cutscene, but you're here to listen to us, so whatever. Yeah. Um, I'll call you. <laughs> not really. We love it. <laughs> but you know one of the things that made the Water Temple so infamous was the whole having to go into the pause men menu and equip the iron boots and then go back into the pause menu and take them off. I love that we're talking about a Nintendo game game over a, a PlayStation and Marvel game too. And it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but 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 you know about all that, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the things that um they changed to make the water temple more bearable, they made the iron boots an equippable item that you can map to a button. Yeah. To where when you need to take the iron boots on and off, you don't have to do the pause menu shit. You can just like map them to like Y and just press Y to take them on and off. That's nice. So yeah, they did some quality of life improvements in that regard. Okay, this boss battle is mindless. It's mindless as hell. You just gotta stand between him and these things on the corner and get him to run into him. That's the only way to hurt him, and he's really not a threat at all. Unless you just stand still in front of him. Oh, so I got Yeah, that, yeah. You just do that over and over again until he's dead. Huh. That is expensive equipment. Yeah, it's, if you don't know how to do that, it's a better boss fight. So maybe I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> I mean, you know, spoilers, whatever. 23-year-old game is what it is. Come on. This was, and weirdly enough, this was my favorite boss game as a, uh, as a kid because of how silly he is while he's getting electrocuted. Hey, that is expensive equipment. You already said that. Rhino Burger's coming up. Hey, I think Stanley just that? did um, the voice the the voiceover. I don't think he added it to any other writing for this game. <laughs> come on, come get me, big boy. Did Stanley do any other uh, writing besides comics? Like, does he have like a book or anything like that out there? I'm sure he probably does. I don't know. Well, maybe not like a. I don't know about a fictional novel or anything like that, but I'm I'm sure.
That was anticlimactic. Yeah. I never felt like... Because for me, this game kind of set the, the pace for Rhino boss battles. And as you know, we've had quite a few Rhino boss battles in Spider-Man games. Yeah. But I always felt like every Rhino battle was kind of like par for the course, no big deal, kind of like... I don't know, it's almost like a trope, like you have to have a rhino battle at some point or something like that, you know? Yeah. But, uh, no, no go, but going back to the Ocarina of Time remake, um, like I said, textures are better, quality of life improvements, but, like, you know, like, one thing that they changed, um, if you went into, like, like say, the bottom of the well in yeah. Ocarina of Time, in the original, like, like, pretty much the whole bottom of the well and the Shadow Temple and all that, like, the whole back lore of that portion of the game is it's telling you about Hyrule's dark history. Right. And now, like, essentially the Shadow Temple and Bottom of the Well was where the royal family would take, like, their enemies to be executed, tortured, all this other kind of stuff. There's guillotines down there. There's yeah. all this, like, different kind of stuff. And there's blood stains all over everywhere. Oh, I remember that being something that was removed. Yeah, yeah, in the remake, yeah. they removed... Well, in the original game, they removed... Like, like for instance, uh, when you fight Ganondorf yeah. at the end of the game, when you defeat him, in the very, very first few... I think, like, in the same uh, versions of the game that had, like, the Islamic chants in the Fire Temple, mm -hmm. when you defeated Ganondorf, he coughed up blood. Right. And all the, the, like, the versions that came later on, I think, past the gold cartridge releases... They censored that. Instead of coughing up blood, he coughed up, like, green slime or some shit like that. Right. Um, so that's one thing. But they still had, like, the blood stains and all in the bottom of the well. Yeah. But in the 3DS remake, they nintendo it up and took all that out. And this dark area that's supposed to be, like, the history of a... Uh, this one's a race. This one's going to be tough. Move it, Spidey. Move it. Okay. Because it's tough for me. Maybe you'll just show me up. Who knows? Gotta keep moving. Shit. Yep, he's. Yeah, you're. You wanna. You wanna jump up the wall like you can in newer games, but. Yeah, they, like, had, they had not thought of that yet. Yeah, that keeps screwing me up because I'm like every time I jump while I'm sticking on the wall, I'm trying to jump up. Right. And I keep forgetting about this damn Gotta compass. Keep up. Okay, you wanna get it on the floor because he's gonna jump around this building. Okay. Ah, the old trusty Spidey armor. Yes, because that. Quit slacking, boy. What in the hell? Come on, Parker. Come on, Parker. What kind of race is this? He's just—I he, mean—he's kind of waiting on me. Yeah, he's just kind of toying with you. Also, what? Point in the Spider-Man, uh, watch that first step, Parker. In like the uh, pop culture Spider-Man lore, is this because Ow, I don't head. remember yeah, in the out, cartoon or anything oh, when he and Mary Jane were married. I don't know. I'm not sure that it ever got there in the cartoon, but I'm. I do. I. I that was a thing. It, you know, eventually. No, no. I know for sure in the comics, but I didn't know that as a kid. Because my primary consumption of Spider-Man was the cartoon so from Jesus. the 90s and eventually the movies when they came out. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely one where uh, these old school controls are kind of screwing me a little bit. Well, come back for the next episode to see how far Doc can get it in this run. Uh, until next time, I've been Peasant. I've been Doc. And join us Thank next time when we continue on with Spider-Man 2000. Everybody stay comfy. Feel it all.